All right, as of this month, the driver's licenses and personal IDs issued in the state of Maine will comply with those strengthened federal regulations. Right, this has been a long time in coming. There is concern with the Real ID program, though. New concern. Our Sean Stackhouse is covering the story for us this morning. What's the latest, Sean? Lee and Sharon, good morning. I'm here in Scarborough at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles, and when you're waiting in line here, you have plenty of time to really think about anything, but many of you are probably not thinking about who is going to have access to the information on your new real ID when you renew your license. Well, Maine Secretary of State Matt Dunlap has thought about that, and he says that federal agencies will not have access for broad searches in Maine's database. Uh, this is coming after the New York Times and Washington Post revealed earlier this week that FBI and ICE agents have used databases in other states to gather widespread information. That prompted Secretary Dunlap to say those agents will not be able to access widespread information here, but he'll still work with those agencies when they're looking for information on a specific person. Well, first of all, you have to understand who the information belongs to, and it does not belong to the FBI or ICE nor does it belong to the Secretary of State. It actually belongs to the individual citizens who provide the information. You know, if they have a question about an individual that they're trying to ascertain their identity, yes, we would provide that information. The request would come in through our own law enforcement division. Now, the idea for real IDs came after the 2001 terrorist attacks here. Now, uh, real IDs, they are a strengthened form of identification with federal regulations they're going to be required in 2020. That's going to be in October of that year. They're going to be used for things like getting into a federal building or boarding an airplane. But you still have some time before you have to come to a BMV to get your license changed over. For now, live in Scarborough, I'm Sean Stackhouse. Lee and Sharon, I'll send it back to you. All right, Sean, thank you very much.